Is my hair good? Yes. Powder? Do I yes. need more? No. The lighting's yeah. all right? All right. You look ready. beautiful. <laughs> hey, we're uh, back here for some chest training. And um, a couple tips for chest. Uh, when you're about to press, you want to make sure you squeeze your shoulder blades back. It's going to open up the chest cavity, allow for a good stretch of the pectorals, and um, give you the best range of motion for contraction. Um, what we really want to pay attention to is that we're not using weight that's uh, that, that we can't control because there's a couple things that are going to sabotage a good chest workout. One is rhythm being a little bit too fast paced. If you can't control the muscle, you can't stimulate the muscle. And the other thing is trying to use too much weight where we're just going to put our structure in jeopardy, jeopardy and not truly stimulate the muscle. So pay attention to those things, squeeze your shoulder blades back and uh, you'll get a good chest workout. In. Let's go, come on. Strong press, yeah, let's go. Yeah. 
resistance is greater as you go down the resistance is less but what I find is it gives me a different feel and um, I get a better blood pump because at the top when your chest is, your chest is in that contracted state that's where the most resistance is on the chest so I like to throw it in um, try it out be careful start light and progressively get heavier and uh, see how it feels so gauge how you like it all right here. Um, the things you want to make sure you do is keep your front delts out of it. You don't want to be hunched in, you know, like this, like you're doing the most muscular. That's going to take the pecs out put more front delts in. 
you want to open the chest cavity, make sure that your wrists are outside your elbows. By that I mean this, outside your elbows, and not this when you're pressing up. Because all that is going to bring your front delt and your tricep into it. It's going to sabotage the pec stimulation that we're going for. So keep the, the weight at a weight that you can manage the movement with the pec. Focus on squeeze contraction, and like I said, nothing fancy here. We're just doing about four straight sets, force some blood in the muscle, and then uh, we'll move on to a finishing movement. Alright guys, this is how we uh, finish off our chest workout, hit some decline presses. Um, we keep the weight relatively low on this, just trying to force blood into the muscle, finish it off a few, maybe like three, four straight sets of the decline, hit the chest from a different angle, and that's about it. Wrap chest up for the day.